the waitresses with no guilt and I know what boys like. Well, with me now is Sandy Shaw, who looked actually you look remarkably like Patty Donahue, or vice versa. <laughs> Both wearing the, the, six, the 60s gear. And I mean, the, I think the last time I saw you in a television studio, you looked exactly the same. I don't know how you've managed to achieve this with apparently no damage or whatever. <laughs> I think I look a lot better now, actually. It's funny because, like, um, kids like, she's probably not even a kid, that lady. But um, usually, if I go to a club or something, I get locked in the ladies until I give the secrets out of my makeup and everything. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. What a, I mean, it's extraordinary that all, all the gear has come back, but how difficult is it for someone who was so associated with the 60s I and mean, the fashion as, as well as music and whatever, to kind of, because you have sort of re-emerged at the moment, and is it, is it difficult? Well, yes, it, uh, yes and no. I mean, like, the, the 60s were a very funny experience, it, it, fantastic experience, actually, and it's taken me this long to even want to even teeter out and re-emerge. I mean, for, for um, say, a band, I mean, it would be sort of shared out, the whole thing between all of them. But for a girl, you get it all just totally thrown at you. Um, and for somebody like me, I'm not, I'm an extrovert when I'm up front, but I do like to hide sometimes, and I found it a bit, a bit hard. So that's where you were through the 70s, getting over the 60s? Yes, yeah, getting over it. I'm just about <laughs> ready to re-emerge. I feel a lot better about myself and everything now. Mm. Do you think it's more difficult, I mean, say for someone like Patty Donahue, to, to, to happen now? Do you think it's easier for, for women? I don't want to get into a women in rock I find situation. Them, I find it extremely interesting, the women around now. I find the, I mean, the questions that I had to ask myself when I started again, um, I kept thinking, well, maybe they're, they're going through that, because girls are very individual now, and it's nothing like we used to be. I mean, and they're very aware of things. And instead of people using that, they're using it themselves, and I find that rather interesting. Do you think they're less manipulated than you were? Well, I think they're, learned, they're actually manipulating themselves. Yeah. Well, you've, extraordinarily, you've recorded a song which was a hit for Scylla Black, who was one of your contemporaries. I, I find this quite amazing, why you should have gone actually back to the 60s. Why, why didn't you choose a, a new song? Well, because that was the idea of the album, is to actually mm. use, and to break a lot of barriers that people are into now. I, what sort of barriers? Well, I think people have now they've become very isolated. Um, they don't do things with each other. Uh, I mean, I'm talking about bands and uh, people in music. Um, sort of like with people go doing videos and learning how to present themselves. They get more and more isolated. They do less things with each other, and it was like an opportunity to do something that was contemporary. I mean, I just decided the day before I was asked that I really wanted to try doing something again, and I wasn't quite sure what it was. And so when they asked me, I thought I'd jump in the deep end and be part of this album. And that was the idea of it. I mean, after this, I'll do more of my own thing. I'll get into... I want to stay in... I want to do an EP because that's a fun thing. And because I, I don't want to actually sign up to a record company at the moment, I want to sort of, like, stay single. <laughs> it's almost like going, I can have fun now and do what I like. And I hopefully influence other people Good. because I want to change the way that they think think, think about things now. Good. I want them to actually start mixing with each other. Okay. I've got ideas for doing like I have to mix with David Hepworth at this moment. Sandy, thank you very much indeed. David Hepworth. Thank you, Annie. When Alex Harvey died earlier this year at the age of 47, British rock and roll lost one of its most widely respected performers, a man whose career...